finally been given a shot tonight at TCW Gold. All of us know you in the ring. We know what you're capable of, but very few people know the man that is John Saxon. Yeah. That, why, why tonight is your shot at that light heavyweight title so important? Because it's what I've waited my whole career for, man. It's what my family has waited for. You want to know the man, John Saxon? Is that what you really want? Let me tell you about the man. Nothing can break me down. Fans have seen that all over the world, man. Everywhere I've been, highways I've traveled on, okay? I've been with the best. I've beat the best. I've took some of the biggest whoopings, and I've dealt out some of them. And everybody always wondered, how much can this guy take? What fuels that fire? What makes John Saxon what he is? Well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell everybody out there exactly what it is. See, when my son fell and he broke his neck and he was paralyzed, and I walked in an ICU unit and I dropped to my knees and I cried like a five-year-old. That's right, a grown man, and I cried tears like you could never believe. And I have another child that is autistic. And he's special too. And they have suffered and they have sacrificed for me to do what I do, to try to take my family to that next level, to get that recognition that we so deserve. So you see, Mr. Jones, you have to understand where I'm at. I've been this close. The brass ring has been right there so many times I can taste it, but this isn't about me. This is about them. This is about me giving them what they have sacrificed for. And that's for me to have the opportunity to be that guy. For them to say, hey, it was worth our sacrifice. Dad, we look at you and we know that you gave every ounce of blood, sweat, tears, and heart in your body to get to this point, junior heavyweight title, TCW, it's what I've waited my whole life for. And it's what my sons have sacrificed for. And their hearts have bled just as much as mine. So just understand this, when it's time for me to step in that ring and grab that brass ring this time, you just know this, daddy's gonna win. An emotional John Saxon on a way to the ring. Back to you, Brian and Matt. It is a junior heavyweight title match coming up here in just a few moments. And Brian Thompson, we heard the emotional words from John Saxon just a few minutes ago. He's putting it all on the line tonight. Why? And Roosevelt's been ejected Why? from ringside. Redford has lost his hand literally here. Why? Yeah, oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has ordered Boyd Bradford and Roosevelt Dog out of the arena. I can't believe that decision. That's bogus. That's a, that's a good call by the official. You want this thing to be a pure one-on-one -on -one wrestling clinic like I know these two can put on here tonight. There's a bell, and we're underway. Well, I can tell you this, Matt Rhodes. Boyd Bradford's not going to let that decision stand. There's going to be some protests to the offices of TCW coming up soon. I can guarantee you that. As the Junior Heavyweight Championship, the most prestigious Junior Heavyweight Championship in this sport today, the sport of professional wrestling. The sport that is entertaining. Not sports entertainment, but the sport of wrestling that is entertaining. We're bringing it to you the best. TCW Wrestling. And John Saxon, we saw... You mentioned it moments ago how intense, how focused he is on this opportunity. Something that may not come again in his career if he doesn't capitalize right here, right now. I'll tell you what, John Saxon, if you will, maybe the last shot at Gloria, last shot at the top here in TCW. A 20 year veteran of this sport as you iterated there, Brian Thompson, but he's got a handful with Kincaid, one of the longest reigning junior heavyweight champions in this company's history. Kincaid is definitely one of the best wrestlers in the world, but we know all the backstory behind John Saxon. We know the issues with his young son that's in the wheelchair. We heard it earlier, just a few moments ago. The motivation is unheard of here for John Saxon in this match. There we go, as Kincaid able to get to the ropes, break up this hold. As Saxon was trying to pull the legs back, we know what kind of damage Kincaid can do with that double stomp from the top rope. Some of the knees that he'll drop, those vicious, lethal weapon-like legs that he has. And Saxon was thinking taking him out. Kincaid did not allow it to happen. Right now, Kincaid is doing a very good job here of keeping Saxon down on his backside here. 
We'll try to roll up here. John Saxon is definitely one of the most talented guys on the roster here in TCW. If you're in, get back up here. Go ahead. If you're in TCW, Matt Rose, that means you are the best in professional wrestling. This Absolutely. is by invitation only. Keep that in mind. If you're watching an athlete on here, it's because they've earned that opportunity. And both these men certainly have. You know, John Saxon's a unique case with me. I understand. I respect the career he's had. I just don't like the fact that he sometimes listens a little bit too much to these fans, his knuckleheads, as he likes to call them. Get Kate down there. Nice roll through by John Saxon. He is looking, like I said, to capture that one maybe last shot at glory in the junior heavyweight title of TCW. Lock up car and elbow now with a side headlock by Kincaid. I tell you what, Kincaid is one of the most intriguing individuals in professional wrestling today. You never know where he's coming from. He can wrestle you on the mat. He can fly off the top rope. This guy can do it all. You see the stump to midsection. An uppercut there by Kincaid. I think one good word to describe Kincaid, Matt Rhodes, is unorthodox. Absolutely. And there's a nice move there by John Saxon off the middle rope and a cover and a one count now on the junior heavyweight champ. One count, Saxon didn't hook a leg. You're not gonna be the champion like Kincaid without hooking that leg, maybe even both legs. That's a junior heavyweight champion, a man who's held that championship for quite some time. He's been dominant ever since he won it. I he, and, and, and let's talk about it. Let's let's say what it is. He is the greatest junior heavyweight competitor in this sport in the world today. He is the TCW junior heavyweight champion. I couldn't agree more, Brian Thompson. Now look at the big shoulder tackle by Kent Cade. You're gonna set him up now, running the ropes here. Saxon, little do -si do action now. Saxon's the one down the ropes. Now look at Kent Cade, up and over, leapfrog. Oh, he got a little cocky. And he gets hit from behind by John Saxon. And Saxon, look at that, he's he's not being real flashy with some of those holds, but we're about to see some high risk uh, here. High body, cross body there off the middle rope, here's a cover. And a two count, the lateral press, or oh. drag takedown by John Saxon. In my opinion, Matt Rhodes, we're gonna see a tale of two stories here. It's gonna be about pacing. We're talking about a man, John Saxon, has more of a slow, methodical pace. Then you got a guy like Kincaid, he is fast and furious in that ring. It's gonna really depend on who is able to establish their pace in this match, and that I think will tell who is gonna be victorious. Well, look at Kincaid's got Saxon by the ear here, gonna back him up to the corner. And Kincaid gonna drive the knee there to the midsection. To try to do some damage to the abdominal and the rib cage area of John Saxon. No doubt, both of his young sons watching uh, on uh, in support of their father here as he's fighting not only for them, but the great fans here of TCW trying to capture that junior heavyweight title away. As you said, Brian Thompson, maybe the greatest junior heavyweight he, champion in the world today. He is. Kincaid. He is. If you hold that championship, that makes you the greatest in the world today. And Kincaid right now is certainly that. John Saxon wants to replace him. He wants to be that. Well, Kincaid in control. I'll tell you what, we have more action to come. Stick to, stay tuned to TCW. John Saxon in control for the moment. But Kincaid lifts him up and over to the apron. And Saxon fighting back. We've seen it back and forth, Brian. And now Rams oh. Kincaid into the turnbuckle there like a battering ram. Now Saxon going high risk all the way up top. Oh, drop gig. Nice move. I'll tell you what, I am not accustomed to seeing John Saxon go to the high risk maneuvers quite so often as he has in this match. And again, I'm going to say it. He should have hooked a leg right there. Saxon, I think, you know, I'm going to ask you this question, Matt Rhodes. I'll, I'll say this. I respect your opinion on this. Is Saxon too emotional in this match? Thinking about his kids, thinking about everything they've gone through, and so focused on that that he's going to be ripe for a mistake. Oh, no, big back to the arch. I'll turn over. Are you seeing Aaron Saxon going for his finishing maneuver, that modified DDT? No, I don't think he's too emotional right there. We've seen him earlier in the locker room area. Saxon has his mind I in the game. And he proudly receives all, or represents all the knuckleheads in the world today. Well, I'm going to disagree with you. I think it's because of those knuckleheads and because he's too emotional that he wasn't able to hit that modified DDT right there and be victorious. That post-concussion syndrome like maneuver. I don't think if he was thinking right, he's got so much on his mind. He's thinking, I can't let my kids down. Well, that, that may be what's in mind at the moment. He can't get sidetracked. 
on things that's going on at home. We know the struggles he's had, but Kincaid, like he said, the best junior heavyweight in the world. Look at this Gavad here. A European hold now by Kincaid. This guy is international. He's competed all over the world. Kincaid is definitely a fighting and defending junior heavyweight champion here in TCW. But Saxon with the right hands is fighting back. He's been so competitive here. Brian Thompson back and forth. Now you see the Irish whip, the far side corner. Oh. Kincaid with the elbow up. Oh, look out. Oh, man. Ah. Goodness. Jerked him right off the top rope with that back connected on the canvas. Saxon again. Exactly. He's, got his, mind, he's got his mind in the right place right now. Oh, he just took his eyes off. Mr. Moment telling him he had a glance somewhere, but he paid for it with a jawbreaker by Kid Kane. Again, I'm going to have to make the, the comparison, the, the emotion, the, the emotion argument right there. He was thinking about something, looking out, thinking, this is for my fans, this is for my family. And now he may pay the price for it. Drives in hard with that vicious, vicious elbow. Oh, man. Wow. Leg sweep out, driving him down hard. Look at this. Now he's got the leg hooked. Kind of hard to get into the position. That referee trying to get into the right spot to see the shoulders. The cover him in the corner, but he's awful close to the ropes right there. But Kim Cade in control. Kim Cade and the Bradford family, Boyd Bradford, they had a game plan in mind. They didn't come out here thinking, we don't know what we need to do. They studied tapes of John Saxon. They knew exactly what they had to face in preparation for this championship match. And going right back to that move, that cravat right there. Look at the way he cinches it. Look at the grip he has. Look where he's got it cinched in, Brian Thompson, though. He's right in the middle of the ring. It's hard to go anywhere right now. I mean, he's pretty much cutting off the air and oxygen to John Saxon. You know his children are watching the home right now, rooting for dear old dad. He's going to come back here and maybe pull off a big victory here today on TCW. Is it possible? Will John Saxon be able to beat the greatest junior heavyweight oh! in the world today? Unique move there by Kincaid, tripping Saxon up as he slides out of the ring. Now Kincaid going to use the ropes. And maybe as his friend oh. with a spinning heel kick coming into the ring. I don't think Kincaid got 100% of that. Saxon down the one, two, and a near fall. Two count only. It was very, very close like right there, Matt Rhodes. I think Kincaid now has to be sensing that it's in his favor. Going for it again, one, two. Come on. Saxon right now, he's just kicking out. I brought a big move there. The kick out at two. It's instinct now for John Saxon. What a stiff forearm there by Kincaid. One of the oh. hardest you'll see in this industry. These two are beating each other in a brutal, brutal fashion. That's how important the TCW Junior Heavyweight Championship is. Absolutely, one of the most prestigious, like I said, one of the most prestigious titles in the world. That's Kincaid now. We're going to set him up here, send him to the corner. Saxon takes the turnbuckle hard. Oh, oh Kincaid, he moves out of the way. Kincaid kind of straddled up there. Uh -huh. Oh, but he used it to his advantage. That's Kincaid for you. He can turn any stinky situation into a positive for him. Oh, what a stiff form as John Saxon takes the floor. Did you notice Kincaid used his own foot as a weapon? moments ago that's putting your body on the line he very well could have broken his own toe just to do damage to john saxon that's how bad this man wants to be tcw junior heavyweight champion how bad he wants Look to keep out. it going oh the kid k he thought he's both all better of it he may have saved himself oh man you see the ropes is his friend the john saxon down to the floor ken kate is so vicious matt rhodes they want that couldn't cause a concussion. Brian Thompson, nothing will look oh, out. Great. Oh, he's going for a hit scissors. Oh my God, on the floor. Oh, oh get the good apron. God. Oh my goodness. Good gosh. I think he killed him. He's, is he breathing? Oh, oh. My. I can't he's believe gotta be the, dead. He's got to be dead. Get a stretcher out here. The man, I don't think he's moving. He's out. He's dead. He killed him. I've seen a lot of devastating. I can't believe it. I've seen a lot of devastating moves here in this industry. That may be the most devastating thing I've ever seen. That was one of the sickest thuds I've ever heard in my life. I've, oh, man. Oh, man. I like uh, how, how in the world is he even moving, much less rolling back in the ring at this point? Like he said, he'll sacrifice his That's body. That's right there. His body may be broken in half after that one. Yeah, he's feeling the punishment right now. This is one of those situations where Boyd Bradford would certainly... Oh. 
stop things and try to talk strategy, but KK, KK, oh. turn it back around. Where's he getting it from, Brian Thompson? You see using the turnbuckle there to get the advantage momentarily. Kincaid, after the sick shot out here on the floor, is right back in it. The Saxons fight back. It's back in fourth action here. These two are teeing off on each other right here in TCW. Big jawbreaker there. Saxon knows he's in the fight of his life now. Saxon goes down. Kincaid staggers to the corner. Both men weary. Look out now, Kid Kane. Oh, and like that battering ran with that headbutt. These two men now are just trying to find the right maneuver, the right series of maneuvers to get the victory. They're using everything European uppercuts, vicious kicks. Kincaid now going up top. We know he likes to go up here quite often. He may not uh -huh. pay off for him as John Saxon is going to cut him off. Kincaid made a small mistake oh, right there. Took Kincaid. his eyes off the situation for two, saw, two seconds too long. Kincaid teetering up there. This is dangerous territory here. Somebody make it hurt as Saxon gets sit down hard. Oh, there it is. Oh, the double stomp. Oh, my goodness. He just, he came, he came the chest in of John Saxon. And Saxon's not moving. And we said that Kincaid may be dead. I think Saxon's gone. One, two, three. That's it. Oh, no. Go. No. No! No, how? That motivation, his children, in the back of his mind, he knew he had to kick out for them. That had to be the only thing that saved John Saxon right there. I've never, and I've never seen anyone kick out of the double stomp. He landed right on the throat and somehow, someway Saxon survived. And Saxon's opened up. He's got a cut on his forehead. What a nasty shot. There's a big forearm. That and look at him go. It's got to be the adrenaline kicking in now on Saxon. I think it's the adrenaline. I think it's the motivation of his two sons at home. Watch it. Pulling for Daddy to win this one. Oh. And look at him go. Look at the motivation coming out. in John Saxon with his elbows. Look at the look on his face. Intensity personified right there. Oh. Oh, he kicked Kincaid right in the face. Trips him down the knee. Boy, Saxon's fired up. Oh, he's fired up as you've ever that's seen him. Post-concussion oh, syndrome. PCS, that's it. It's got to be over. One, two, three. He got two junior heavyweight champion. Here is believe. your winner. And new PCW junior heavyweight champion, John Saxon. No doubt this must be the most emotional moment in John Saxon's life, the new TCW heavyweight champion. Junior heavyweight, look at the streamers going respect. in the ring. It's kind of respect. Look at our the fans. respect. Wow. Wow. A new junior heavyweight champion crown. He did it for his wow. kids, his family, his fans. And the respect here being shown to John Saxon. You have to respect this moment indeed, Ryan Thompson. They're one of the greatest moments in TCW history right here. Simply put, this ain't New York. And I ain't no sports entertainer. I'm a pro wrestler. And I'm damn proud of that. Strong words. Well, I'll tell you what, Connecticut. Sports entertainer, I'm not. Pro wrestler, that's damn entertaining. I am. So I'm gonna put this out there. I'm gonna do what nobody wanted to do for me. Kincaid, you are a technical wizard, and that is a fact. So anytime you wanna do this again, this is what pro wrestling it's really about. Couldn't agree more with what John Sax Saxon has to say here. Hey, Sean, Shane, live it down there on the bayou, baby. Papa said he was going to get it done. Hey, baby, we did it. Well, they said make it more shoot. That's what I'm going to do. 
This belt goes on the line to any competitor anywhere in this world. Pack your lunch, put some Twinkies in it, bring it on down. Because this is TCW, and I ain't done touching. And brother... Jason Jones, Springfield, Missouri, right here at the Shroud Mask, all my knuckleheads. It's party time, baby.